This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou, and welcome to Catan in about 3 minutes. It has no solo mode, it's a game for 2-4 players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. Welcome to Catan, a geometrically pleasing and conveniently unpopulated island for you to settle. Can you build the most settlements, the longest road, and the biggest army on your way to victory? The game ends as soon as one player gains 10 victory points. You get 1 victory point for a settlement, 2 for a city, and extra points from cards and objectives. Dice. A dice roll determines which regions generate resources each turn. Network building. You will build a network of roads and settlements. Trading. Yes, you can trade wood for sheep. Play a turn. For your first games, I strongly recommend using the beginner setup as shown here. Each player will have two settlements with one road off each. There are five different regions and each generates a different resource. At the start of your turn, roll the two dice. Based on what you roll, those regions will generate resources. Here that is the mountain and the forest marked with the three icon. Each player collects resources for each building they have on its corners. There is one white settlement on the three woods, so the white player gets one wood. There are two blue settlements by the mountain and one orange city, so both blue and orange get two or each. As the dice roll is two six-sided dice, rolls of six and eight are far more common. This frequency is noted on each number with the dots underneath. If you roll a seven, you can then move the robber. Place it in any region. Then any players with more than seven cards in hand discard half of them. Then you may take one card from a player with a building on that tile. You may then trade, either with other players, or if you have built a port, you can trade based on what is shown on that port icon. Also at any time you may trade 4 of a card for 1 of another, regardless of players or ports. Then you may build. Roads cost 1 clay and 1 wood, and must extend an existing network. If you have at least 5 segments and the longest road, claim this victory tile. Only one road can exist on each segment, so this is an illegal placement. But settlements, which can be built on an intersection for one of each resource card, can break a road. Cities cost 3 ore and 2 grain, and up greater settlement. Cities are worth two victory points and get double resources. You can also buy development cards. Development cards are either one-off powers, victory points, or knights. Knights are played to the table to move the robber to another region. If you have at least three and have the most knights, claim the largest army marker. For later games, you can experiment with variable map setups. Why would you like this game? I first played Catan back in the late 90s and I wasn't particularly impressed with it. Decades later and after a gazillion copies sold, I still find it somewhat uninspiring. But that's because I was never the target audience for the game. Catan holds a special place in so many gamers' hearts because it was the game that got them into hobby gaming. And the reason it's got so many people into hobby gaming is it's phenomenally simple yet reasonably deep gameplay. Roll dice, get stuff, build stuff. But then there's also building up a tableau of development cards, moving the robber around, snaking your road around, nabbing ports, and a bunch of other little gameplay wrinkles. And the potential swing back with the longest road and biggest army cards keeps the game tense. All up, Catan deserves its spot as the most successful foundation game ever made and is suitable to practically anyone. Oh, best thing about this game is getting a development card yelling, ROAD BUILDING SUCKERS, taking the longest road card and winning. However, two standout negatives for Catan. Trading can make and break the game, and a poor social contract at the table can lead to kingmaking, collusion, and bullying. And the other is that with variable setups, you can almost call a victory after the initial setup is done in some cases. Like the network building in Catan, you could try Power Grid. And if the negotiation part appeals, check out Chinatown. Catan owes Gamma Orders a big thank you. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.